Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Eureka Math. Today, we are multiplying four digits by three digits, multiplying using the area model, which is your visual, and the algorithm. All right, let's get to it. So we wrote the numbers. This is the first factor, which I wrote over here. And this is your second factor. Let's decompose them. In the old program, we used to call this the expanded form. Expanded form. So let's do it. This is 4,000, so you write 4,000. And the next one is 500 plus 500. And the next one is zero tenths. We're not going to write it because that will yield a zero as the, as the answer. And then we have nine ones. So that's the expansion or the decomposition of the first factor. The second one is 300 plus, we're, again, we're not writing the zero, but we're writing the six ones. Okay, now we have the decomposition. We can focus on the, the area model. So here's what the area model does. So. Let's rewrite the number. So we rewrite like this, 4,509 multiplied by 306. So if the number is being multiplied, then we write down the numbers on the left side. So we have six ones, and that will be part of the area. And the other one is 300. So there is 300. So these two numbers multiply the numbers. 4,000 plus 500 plus 91. Now we can create our area. Why this is called the area model? So we have two areas, and we can divide farther into small areas. So we always start multiplying the ones times all of the numbers on the above. So six times four equals 24. That will be 24,000 because we have one, two, three zeros. That means one, two, three zeros. The number was multiplied by 10 three times. We multiply six times five equals 30. And two zeros, that means two times multiplied by 10 and multiply six times nine equals 54. That will, that's multiplying the six. So this is the one that we multiplied. So the partial product for this one, we have to find it. So now all of these numbers have to be added. So 24,000 plus 3,000 plus 54. This is four, add all those zeros, and the five is five, and all the two zeros, that will be zero. Three plus four equals seven. This will be 27,054. So we will write the partial product, 27,054, right here. So this is what you call the partial product. If you look at the word partial, it has the word part. I mean, it's part of the product, but it's not the whole answer. Now, we're multiplying the second number, which is 300. We always multiply the single digits, and then we add the zeros. This is why this is the beauty, using the area model. So 3 times 4 equals 12. Then we count the zero that each factor has. This one has two zeros. This one has three zeros. That equals five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. Now we separate, group them in periods. One, two, three, this is the ones period. One, two, three, and this is the thousands period. Now we have one million period. Multiply 300 times 500, that will be three times five equals 15. And we have one, two, three, four. So that number is gonna be multiplied by 10, four times. Now 300 times nine, 9 times 3 equals 27. And we have 2 multiplied by 10 twice. That's 0, 0. Now we have to find this partial product. So our first number is 1,200. Our second number is 150,000. 
And our third number is 2,700, 2,700. Notice that I align all of the numbers, each place value with its place value. If this is 100,000, I aligned it with 100,000. Very important. If your alignment is not correct, you will get the wrong answer. So all the zeros added equal zero. All the zeros added equal zero. The seven plus all the zeros, that's seven. I'm gonna write a one. Be careful. Comma. Two zeros plus a two equals two. Five plus a zero equals five. And one, two plus one equals three. And that is a million. Zero plus one equals one. So now we write the partial answer below it. Now we gotta be careful because now this number is larger. It has more place values. So what I would do, I would start backwards. So I would write 700. So 700 will be below the hundreds right here, 700. And then we have 352,000. So 352,000 will be right here. And the last number digit is the million. So now I'm, sh I'm making sure my numbers are aligned with the correct place values. Now, again, this is the second, second partial product. Now let's get the act, the, the product that is the answer of the multiplication. Four plus zero equals four. This is five, this is seven, comma. This will be nine, two plus nine equals seven, five plus two equals seven, three plus zero equals three, and one plus zero equals one. So now we know that our answer is one that one million three hundred and seventy nine thousand seven hundred and fifty four. My friend, this is how you use the area model to find partial products to solve the algorithm, the multiplication that is stated here and adding the partial product in the algorithm. Thank you, my friends. Remember, this is James Bond speaking from its hideout. Have a good day day enjoy these multiplication lessons and practice them again until you get them right my friend copy the problem solve it three times four times however many times you have to do it become a better mathematician